everyone welcome back to my channel today is Wednesday May 12th and I finally could get around to showing you what I got for Mother's Day I have to hurry it up a little bit because I do have an appointment in an hour and I do not want to miss it I already had to cancel it once because I had a surgical procedure so they will be very mad at me if I canceled anyway I did have a really wonderful Mother's Day I was surrounded by my husband and my children and my beautiful granddaughter Isabella as always so we just we're here at the house just chilling. My husband made two of my favorite Mexican dishes, which is pozole, of course, and tamales. They were both delicious. I almost couldn't choose which I wanted to eat first. I did go for the pozole first because I don't like to eat pozole later at night because it's really heavy. Um, so I opted for the tamales later that evening and they were both delicious, of course, because my husband's an amazing cook. So yeah, it was great. We took pictures, we exchanged gifts, we just chit-chatted and just enjoyed the day together. And it was really nice. I didn't go to my mother's grave the day before, which is what I usually do. I don't like to go directly on Mother's Day because I like to spend the day with my children and my husband here. And plus, I don't want to run into anybody else. I want to have my own space, my own time at the gravesite with my mom. So I always go the day before. I didn't get to do that this year, but I did go yesterday. So I'll show you videos and pictures of my visit with my mom at my gravesite. But right now, I just wanted to share the gifts that I got. Um, so let's get started because I do have an appointment. Um, I got this from a friend and a neighbor of mine, which we love dearly, Edith. So she gave this, she made, she did like a vase and decorated it with like rhinestones and she had a balloon and the little flowers and stuff. So it was really, really sweet. I'll try to include a clip of that if I remember to do so. And inside the gift bag was this lotion. It's um, a scented hand cream. Um, I'm trying to see... Um, if there's like a scent or something, I don't know, but it's really pretty. Can't wait to try this. I'm going to put probably put this in my travel bag so I can have a little mini lotion. I can only use this on my hands and my face because I'm really severely allergic to anything else. I can only use the Vino lotion, but it's small and mini, perfect for my travel bag and definitely always need it with our hands because we're always using that sanitizer, which really dries our hands out so i could totally use this thank you so much edith if you watch this video um the next things i got um was a lot of makeup which i can always use makeup as you know i'm revamping my makeup collection um so i can always use new makeup so one of the um um what do you call these palettes oh my god that i got was this one which was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It was on my um, wish list. Um, it's um, comparable to the ColourPop um, nine pan palettes. So always comes with your mirror, of course. The colors are amazing. And I believe this one was either from my daughter or my son. They both gave me makeup and it was kind of twined together. So doesn't matter. It just, I love it. I love the colors. Look at that shimmery. I always said this one's going to be my favorite. I love this beautiful, like, kind of what is it reddish orange but more hitting towards the reddish so i can't wait to try that one um the next palette i got was from essence it's the fire palette it's this one right here so it looks like that it's a nine pan as well a little bit smaller than that one but <clears throat> i still love it. it's perfect for a travel bag as well or going out for the day to retouch up i love the colors these will probably be my favorites this little angle here because you know I love shimmers this one as well I'm loving this one this one as well all the shimmers I love all of them actually on this palette I think there's only there's four mattes and five shimmers so it's perfect shimmers are my favorite you heard me say this over and over again but you always need some mattes to have some choices depending on the look that you're doing so I love it the palette is just so so cute um the next palette I got was I seek it says it has 60 colors on here, but I didn't count 60 colors. So this is the back of it. This is the front. I just love the packaging. I'm always, the first thing that catches my eye always is packaging. So, and then I go into looking for the nitty gritty um, serious stuff, which is pigmentation, making sure that the shadows are not loose powder where you have to really do a lot of cleanup and stuff like that, all that good stuff. So it comes out like this, it's like a trifold. And it's weird because in the inside it has more pans than on the outside. On the outside it has 18. So you have six times three is 18. And on the other side as well, you have 18. On the inside you have four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So on the sides you have 18, on the middle you have 24. 
So 16 and 18 and 18 is 36 plus 24. It's supposed to be 60 colors. So let's see. Oh my God. I hate to try to do the math and the thing. So 36 plus 24. Yeah, 60. So I don't know why I counted the first time I'm wrong, but if it says 60, it should be 60. I'm going to lift up the plastic so you can see it better. The colors. Look at those beautiful, exotic looking colors really in the warm tones i love it this is totally going to be a warm tone palette and i love that look at that beautiful golden shimmer there's another one up here there's another more yellow golden one right here oh my god i can't wait to try this palette of course it is a mix of mattes and shimmers and that's great there's another beautiful one here so i can't wait to try this one of course it's called ice i seek like your eye and seek and then it says make it easy and possible 60 colors i just love it love it love it so like i said i'm forgetting if my daughter and my son got it they both got me a lot of makeup so like i said it either one i'm very very thankful they also got me this contour tour provision palette Oh, it's taped, so I can't show you. So hopefully you can see from the inside, but it has beautiful shimmers, some really dark tones here, and it comes with a little mini um, brush right there um, to do the contour, and it's like a flat brush, so you can contour really good. I'm not really a contour person, but every now and then I like to try it. So, and what I'll end up doing is using these as shadows as well, so you can never miss out. So yeah, look at those beautiful colors. Um, the last but not least, as far as makeup, I have these exotic flavors. And these were all on my list except this one. This one she got at Ross, which I love. Um, the rest of the makeup was on my wish list. So, um, But I had put it down a while back, so I kind of forgot of some of them. So I was really happy to get them. This is called the Exotic Flavors Ukanabi um, brand. I hope I'm saying that name right. Ukambi? Ukambi? Something to the effect. So can be exotic flavors. Flavors, yeah, that's what it says. So I'm going to pull that out as well. See if I could get it out. It's hard to get these out sometimes. You know, you have to like that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the colors in this palette, which look how beautiful. These are really bold colors all the way from a very slightly light I think this is really the only one light and then it goes to really bold colors of all sorts and then it goes into dark ones which you can also even use for your eyebrows um then it has some sh beautiful shimmers like this beautiful green let me take the plastic off because sometimes the glare will mess up um the look so you have this beautiful shimmer green look at this lavender purple this beautiful blue look at this like orangey yellow shimmer right here this yellow golden shimmer just some orange ones, and then you have a few mattes in there as well. This is really a bold color. Then you have kind of like your warm tones in this area. Like I said, you can use like this one for your eyebrows if your eyebrows is around that color, kind of like a medium brown. Mine's is dark brown, but I could always use this too. It works. I mix it up with something else and it works perfect. The rest you definitely have to use for eyeshadows, but yep, I just love it. You even have your black down here in this beautiful shimmer blue. Let me see if I try to get close. Um, this has, even comes with a little paper here, tells you all about the palette and the brand. Um, this has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, times one, two, three, four, five, six, so 48 colors. So I love it. It's a bigger size palette, but it's perfect because I have lots of those too in my collection. So my collection is, my makeup collection is almost done. Um, so whenever that is ready, I will definitely give you a makeup, revamp makeup collection um, video so you can see how it has changed from when I started to where I have now. Um, since then, I have a whole new makeup vanity dresser. So that's different, but I'll show you the before and afters. Back then, makeup collections were huge. When YouTube first started, the beauty industry had taken over. Makeup collections was probably the number one thing. They were huge, and so many people just kept getting, you know, their makeup collections were bigger and bigger and bigger. And I don't know if people were trying to outdo each other, but um, I started my collection because I always loved makeup and always had a collection, but never saw it as a collection, just had it in my drawer on my dresser and said that's my passion so i guess i did say collection but i just saw it as my makeup 
you know, a little section or something. I never really called it collection until kind of YouTube started. I don't know what I called it back then. Just, I don't know, my passion. I don't know. I'll go back and see those videos and pictures and see what I called it, um, which I might not have back then because I started makeup God, when I was a teenager, when I was allowed to do it, I was already researching it, watching my sisters, already looking through the magazines and seeing the commercials. So I was already educating myself and learning and researching so I knew exactly what to do when it was my turn to be able to wear makeup. My mother said I had to wait till I was 15. Boy, when that birthday came, I got lots of makeup for my birthday and I was an excited girl, I'm telling you. And it has been bigger and better ever since then you know we use different things back then the thing was kabuto's is where you put your makeup in or beautiful different makeup bags now it's dressers and drawers and i mean the makeup industry and the makeup collections all that stuff has evolved and i tried to just be me you know i don't want to be bigger than everybody i don't want my collection to have to be bigger to be just as good. I just want to be true to myself. I want it to be my personal touch the way I liked it. I want it to be the dresser or the vanity that really suited me, that I loved, that was my style, my cup of tea. I want it to have the makeup that I love, that, you know, impress me, that I like to use. So it was all about me never trying to be like somebody else or be bigger than somebody else. But I love watching those videos. So I love seeing the different vanities and the different way people collected and what people collected what brands were evolving and coming out and stuff like that. So all that is exciting as always. So the next thing I got was these cups. I love my daughter. I love cups. Um, I think my other one is around here somewhere. I have it at Jenny Rivera when I went to her boutique in LA. I got one that I haven't even used. Let me see if I could get it out of here without knocking stuff up. So I got this in 2015. I went to LA, um, to Panorama City, I believe, where Jenny, one of Jenny Rivera's boutique was. And I got quite a lot. I got a perfume set. I got a lot of stuff from her boutique. This is one of the stuff I got because I love these type of cups. I always have. I love that Starbucks kind of look. I always call it Starbucks kind of look because I don't know if they were the first one to come up with the style. I'm sure they weren't, but uh, their cups are, they're known for their cups. So um, yeah, so I like cups like this and I got this in 2015, haven't even used it yet because I don't want to break it or I don't know. I want it just to last. It's Jenny Rivera. It has her signature on there, her name on there. So I just treasure it. Um, but my daughter got me these cups which I love. She had bought me a Starbucks cup, God, two or three years ago, and I take care of it. I take care of all my stuff. That's just the way I am. But I take care of it to the ground. I've had this one, and I have a ton new ones that I haven't even used yet because I am stuck on that Starbucks cup. So I just wash it and reuse it. So she knew how much that cup meant to me. So she got me these colorful ones. It comes with the matching tops. Isn't that perfect? It's so strong, just like the Starbucks cups. It just doesn't have Starbucks on there. And that's okay because I could either leave these like these or there's a place on Etsy where you can have them decorated or you could do it yourself if you have the equipment or you know the products to do it. So I'll see what I'll choose to do with it if I just wanna leave it just plain like this or if I wanna do some decorations to it. But yeah, it comes, it's three, five different cups with the five matching tops. It has some type of decoration here. Um, I don't know. I haven't really read into it or looked into it. It has like five different sheets maybe and you could decorate it. This is the cleaner to clean your cups. I love when that comes with that. Um, and then it also has the five matching straws. So isn't that like so cute? This is perfect. I'm, I don't know when I'm going to get to use them all because I'm not going to use them all at the same time. I'm going to use them one by one unless I'm just feeling that certain color and kind of just do it as my makeup, you know, whatever I'm wearing. That's the color that goes on my eyeshadow, on my eyes as an eyeshadow. So maybe I'll do that with this with these cups, I don't know if I'll just save them for like a rainy day when one messes up. Hopefully none of them do. But if they do, I have extra saved up, reserved, ready to go. I don't know. I'll let you know what I decide to do. But it does come with the straws. And so I loved it. Loved it, loved it. My daughter, my other daughter, this was for my daughter, Adriana. 
And my other daughter, wait a second. <laughs> She got me the actual Starbucks cups. So they're just as strong. The quality are, is exactly the same. Um, just that one is very colorful and I love, love that because I'm a colorful person. And one has just the original Starbucks where you can put your recipe on here, which I never did with my other cup. It's so weird because I have different um, smoothie recipes and especially my coffee, my creamy coffee cappuccino. So I should put that on here. That would be perfect. So if ever I can't make it and I need somebody to make it for me, they can just follow the recipe and they'll know exactly. I, I don't know. I had that cup this whole time and didn't even think of doing it. So she got me these. It's three of them. I just used one yesterday because mine, the other one I had used for like three years and it's still in perfect, perfect condition, but I needed to use a new one. It was time, but I still have my old one over there. It has a lot of good memories for my daughter when she bought me my first Starbucks cup. So I'm going to keep it until it just completely dies and I hope it never does. But the good thing is I have new ones and I took one. We went out of town yesterday. So that's where the third one is, is in my bag. So, um, well, actually not in my bag. This one was in my bag. This one was, um, in the box that she gave me that it came in. And then the other one that I used for my travel bag yesterday, I took it back out. And that's the one that I started using as the new cup. So it came in a set of three. So each one has its Starbucks logo. As you can see, the third one does too. Each has its own top and each of them has its own Starbucks straw. So the other straw is over there. I don't know where the second straw is. It must be over there somewhere, but I do have it. I haven't even opened. I just opened the one cup and the one straw, one straw in its top. And I got these two extras to use whenever I need to or whenever I'm ready. Each of them, like I said, has its straw. So I'm so excited that I don't have to keep switching straws. So, um, this one was for my daughter, Carolina. The colorful one was for my daughter, Adriana. So that's perfect. The makeup was, some was for my son, Alexi. Some was for my um, daughter, Carolina. So yeah. And then the other thing that I got was from my husband. He got me a guest watch which he said, I want to get you something that you really, really, really want. Um, he's good at getting me gifts, but sometimes it's like not exactly what I want, but I'm a grateful person. So I'm, I make the best of it. But sometimes he'll say, you know, I always tell you guys if I don't like something and I ask you for the receipt because I really want to get what I have. So you guys should do the same. I mean, you can't change who you are, but so I told him I did have a wish list on Amazon and he goes, pick whatever you want and I'll get it for you. So I picked this guest watch. It came in this box. Um, it's just a pretty, pretty, pretty box. It came in that pillow. It says guess. Yes. Guess is one of my favorite designers as well. And it was this watch right here. Oh my God. Isn't that a beauty? Um, it's black and gold, which I think black and gold together is beautiful. I think silver and gold is beautiful together, too. But this something about this black and gold, um, you can see it right there. If the glare doesn't take, the guess in the inside, it still has a plastic on top of it covered. It still has a tag that says guess. I just tried it on to make sure it fit, and it fit perfectly. So I'm going to try to show you real quick how it fit and how it looks on me. Um, I'm not going to use it today. Of course, I'm wearing blue, so I'm using my Apple Watch with my blue strap. Um, but whenever I use anything that's gold or black or black and gold, this will definitely be the choice. So isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look at that. Look at the elegance of it. Look at the quality of it. You can feel the quality. Of course, Guess is a really good designer brand. And, um, yeah, it's a beautiful watch to add to my collection. I can't wait to wear it. I think it'll go good with... Um, these two purses here. So even though this is a different designer, this is Bebe or Bibi. I think I got to figure out the real, how to really pronounce this name. This would go good with that. Look at that combination. So elegant. Or I could even use this one. It has gold and black too. So this one I wore yesterday, but I didn't wear the watch because really wasn't gold and black look. So... Yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Sorry I got off camera. So I loved it. He also got me uh, Michael Kors wristlet purse, which I got yesterday, but it didn't 
come like it looked in the picture. It was so, so small. I don't even think I could put my wallet or just even my cell phone in it. It would be more used as a really mini makeup bag. Um, it was also missing the... Um, the you know the zipper part where you grab onto something and you move the zipper it just had the the ring part so it was missing that and i thought nope i don't feel good about this i don't like it it's already missing something that's a bummer it wasn't the size that it looked like in the picture Um, but I'm going to return. I'm probably going to get another purse or two, depending on what I can find. Probably another guess, but I'll let you know whatever I choose. I'll let you know. Um, so thank you, hum husband, for those beautiful gifts. Thank you to my children for all their beautiful gifts. I'm not done yet. Um, I got these Michael Kors um, coin looking like um, earring studs. It has the MK in it and the diamond likes here. Uh, my daughter got this from Ross. It was $26.99, as you can see here. So these are just elegant and beautiful. And it would go perfect, perfect with this watch and those purses. Oh my God, I can't wait to wear these. I'm more wearing kind of silverish today, so I didn't wear them today, but I can't wait to wear these. I love Michael Kors. I love designer brands. Michael Kors is one of my favorite guests. Um, Juicy Couture, I love Juicy Couture. One day I'll probably make a video on what brands I like, what are my favorites and why I like them and what do I have of that designer brand so you could kind of get a feel of what I really like. But look at the elegance. The quality of it is amazing. You know, just it being a designer brand and you know they put a lot of quality. The look, you can see the, the quality and the look and the feel. You can see the elegance. I love it, love it, love it. So I can't wait to wear like those together. That would be nice. And last but not least, um, my daughter Adriana, she got me this that I've been wanting for so long. It's a 23andMe, the Ancestry, health, health and Ancestry. It's the Ancestry 23andMe. So not only does the DNA um, of what you really are, how much Puerto Rican you have, because I'm Puerto Rican, full-blooded, um, but I know we have, Puerto Rican is a mix of, of Spanish, Indian, and Black. So I know there's Native American in me. I know there's Black in me. I know there's um, Spanish in me. So it gets down to the nitty gritty of the percentage of what you are of each thing. So I can't wait. It will also connect you, connect you with family or um, family. I was going to say friends. Um, family that are also registered that are related to you. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I always wanted to do my um, family tree to go back to my grandparents because I never got to meet my grandparents. I never never knew what it was like to have a grandmother or grandfather. So that's going to mean a lot to me. And to do something kind of that will honor my parents, um, knowing that I was so interested. They always knew I was this kind of person. Always curious, always asking questions, always researching, always wanted to make sure that I spoke both languages at 100%, speak, read, and write it, that I was always into learning different dialects, um, stuff like that. So I can't wait to do this, but I want to take my time when I do it and be peaceful. I don't want to mess up. Um, I always wanted it, it was always expensive and I could have bought it anyway, but I don't know. It was just so stubborn to give up the money. And then every time it went on sale, I wasn't ready. So she knew how much this meant to me. I've had a lot of people that did it and I was just so curious. So I can't wait to get that done. This means a lot. All the gifts were perfect. I mean, I'm always grateful for everything. Always, always. But you know, when you get a gift that you really love and been wanting, it makes it even more joyful. So yeah, I don't think I'm missing anything. I need to go to this appointment. But um, whatever I get different or new from what I'm going to return for, as far as the wristlet purse that my husband got me, I'll update you and let you know what I chose and what it looked like when it gets here and all that good stuff. But I think that's it. If not, I'll add another clip. If I've missed something, which I doubt it, I'll add another clip to this video. I'm already at 24 minutes. So yeah, so I really had a good Mother's Day. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know I'm going through a severe, severe depression. So any day that I can get a lot of joy and happiness and peace away from those feelings and those thoughts means the world to me. I grab onto it like glue. So that was one of those days. So anyway, gotta go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell because that's the only way you get heads up on every time I upload a video. So yeah. So if I have to add anything, we'll just keep watching. If not, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.